Okay, now a roller coaster car shown in the figure is pulled up to point one, where it is released from rest. Okay, released from rest. Okay, uh, assuming no friction, uh, calculate the speed at points two, three, and four. Well, here he says uh, no friction. Okay, uh, no friction. That means uh, uh, no energy loss. Uh, so we use uh, we can use the conservation of mechanical energy to do these questions, yeah. Because no other form of uh, no other form of energy like heat. Because no other form of energy like heat energy. Okay, so this one we use conservation of mechanical energy. Yeah, that means only the uh, potential energy and kinetic energy involved. Okay, uh, this is the one conservation of mechanical energy. So. Now, uh, <clears throat> which is this formula? Yeah, um, total we are uh, we okay. We this is mechanical energy. I con uh, I regard this E as mechanical energy. The total initial mechanical energy must be equal to total final. <coughs> excuse me, uh, mechanical energy, which is uh, U, um, okay, uh, U I plus K I equal to U uh, final plus K final okay so now let's look at uh you say at point one point one is where it is released from rest okay point one is where he is released from rest that means uh no velocity uh, velocity zero over there okay velocity zero uh, here that means velocity zero that means kinetic energy zero uh, at point one uh yeah that means kinetic energy is zero at point one uh, so at point one it only has potential energy no kinetic energy okay so we can maybe can label that this is u1 yeah only has kin potential energy no kinetic energy uh, and then drop to u2 uh, drop to 2 uh, if you compare between uh, position 1 and position 2 the difference in height is h1 isn't it so we can say all this potential energy has changed to kinetic energy uh, so in, uh, in position 2 only has kinetic energy uh, just put k2 lah. and then back to uh, position 3 okay uh, it changed back to potential energy but you see h3 is lower than h1 uh, h3 is lower than h1 so h3 is not entirely potential energy it still has some remaining kinetic energy so we put it put it as uh, u3 plus k3 uh, it still have kinetic energy even though it is at the highest position but this high this uh, high position is not much it's not higher than u1 it's not higher than h1 uh, h3 is lower than h1 that's why it still got some residual kinetic energy okay and then uh, 4 uh, 4 it also has potential energy h2 uh, and also kinetic energy yeah so we put that as a u Okay, we put that as U4 plus K4. Uh, it got potential mixture of potential energy and kinetic energy. Okay, so what I, I want to say is uh, this U1 will be equal to, okay, uh, according to these uh, equations, yeah, according to conservation of mechanical energy, what I want to say is uh, the, poten the potential energy, sorry, the potential energy of U1 will be equal to K2. Ah, will be equal to u3 plus k3 ah, and also equal to u4 plus k4 ah, all of them they are equal because why because of conservation of mechanical energy ah, so this uh, u1 equal to k2 yeah, all of them will have equal energy ah, this one equal uh, equal to this also equal to that also ah, okay equal to all this energy yeah so look at the this this is the this is the uh, combination uh, okay so conservation of mechanical energy so we need to find let's say the speed at points two let's say one is find speed at point two so you just compare between u1 and k2 okay uh, so look at uh so how uh, how to do the point two yeah so for uh, speed of point two okay at point two okay uh, so at po uh, point uh, just put point two 
okay point two right uh, okay so at point two um the potential energy yeah potential energy u1 is actually equal to equal to k2 ah uh, yeah potential energy u1 equal to k2 uh which is the, this one is mg h height using height uh, sorry height one yeah this is height one equal to half m b two square ah uh, this is the kinetic energy at point two uh, so we want to find v2 okay mass is the same because they they are the same object okay so mass is the same so and then uh what the height is what is the height huh? do you give any the height ah i give the h1 is 32 meter so i just put that yeah so this is 30 uh, 32 times gravity is 9.81 yeah positive positive value are uh, the g and then uh half v2 sorry half v2 square so find the v2 uh so let's get the answer ah uh, so i got the answer v2 is uh 25.06 uh two uh, meter per second uh, that's the velocity at point two okay and then look at now look at point three yeah just put this oh uh, beside here okay now look at uh point uh okay, just put a line here now i want to look at point three uh, point three what is the speed at point three so at uh, just now it's point two now uh point three okay point three so point three uh you compare you also can compare uh, point three with point two or you want to compare point three with point one also can straight away compare with point one ah huh? compare with point one because all the energy is conserved uh yeah the mechanical energy is conserved no friction you see that uh so what i can say is uh you can straight away use what you can straight away use u1 equal to you see u1 with u3 u v3 k3 uh, u1 is equal to u3 plus k3 uh, okay u1 is u3 plus k3 so we just put uh, uh, mg h this is h1 and then this is um, this is mg this one using height 3 yeah uh, height 3 height 3 is lower than height 1 height 1 so that's why uh, yeah, height point 3 is lower than point 1 so that that's why there's a residual kinetic energy there okay so uh, we need to find the uh, the velocity at point three uh, so we put v3 uh, v3 square so this velocity three of course is uh, smaller than this velocity two yeah okay now the mass is the common terms we can can cancel off the mass and then the height uh, h1 is 32 meter okay so put all the value yeah uh, h3 h1 is 32 meter multiply the g okay i uh, just put as g first and then this one is uh, h3 is uh, 26 meter 26 meter so this one also put as g okay uh, good yeah g uh, and then uh, what else uh, plus half v3 square uh, so and then g is 9.81 yeah g is 9.81 so you can find the v3 so what's the answer for v3 let's calculate and see okay so the answer the answer is uh, uh the answer is a uh, 10 point uh, uh, 10 uh, 10 is it correct uh, 10.85 meter per second uh, that's the that's the answer yeah 10.85 meter per second okay it's, it's slower than this one yeah lower than 25 okay so now look at point four huh how about point four point four is u4 k4 huh? got potential potential energy and kinetic energy so point four let's look at point four now so point four okay so you also compare the point four yeah compare the point four point four with u1 you want to compare um you want to compare point four with point three also can you want to compare point four with point two also can you want to point compare uh with point one also can so i just compare with point one yeah because all the while potential and the mechanical energy are conserved so i just put 
u1 equal to u4k4 yeah u1 equal to u4k4 uh, so u1 equal to u4 plus k4 so uh, this is mg h1 okay h1 and u4 is mg um, okay u4 you see u4 is h2 you see that u4 uh, the potential energy at point 4 is actually using h2 uh, so we don't put h4 la. we don't put h4 we put h2 eh? we put h2 uh, just put h2 uh, h2 this is h height 2 eh? and then plus half mv 4 square uh, speed at 4 eh? the common terms are the mass so can cancel the mass now height 1 height 1 is uh, height 1 is uh, 32 meter so that is the 32 uh, 32 gravity I don't multiply the gravity first because I know that uh, at the right hand side also have gravity so might as well combine them first before you multiply by gravity so h2 h2 is uh, you know h2 is uh, 14 meter uh, so 14 meter just put 14 meter so this is 14 g uh, plus half v4 square uh, so uh, from here you can find v4 okay speed f4 yeah speed f4 so let's calculate yeah okay now i got uh, v4 is uh 18.79 meter per second okay uh see that so uh look let's compare the answer yeah let's compare the answer is the answer correct uh, v1 v1 uh, v sorry v2 is 25.06 that's correct okay v3 is uh, 10.85 or 86 oh, almost correct okay and then um, v4 is 18.79 that's correct okay so what you can see over here is yeah can you see the difference here has the point 2 has a higher speed has the most kinetic energy uh, whereas point 3 uh has the lowest kinetic energy of all yeah among them because point three is higher than point two and point four so that's why point three has the lowest kinetic energy i uh, don't to say point one point one has no kinetic energy at all but point three has the lowest kinetic energy compared with two and three yeah that's why the speed also lowest only 10 and then uh for uh, po point four the speed is intermediate between yeah, between 0.2 and 0.3 yeah intermediate uh, 18.79 yeah intermediate so the kinetic energy here also intermediate okay so that's all for conservation of mechanical energy